I've always heard that necessity is the mother of all inventions. If that's true, then time is on the side of the inventor. You got the time, we'll figure out a way to do it. I got here a little sleeve of some kind. I couldn't find anything else deeper. Many of my viewers will remember I tore down a bunch of sections of fence out there at the back around the pool area they're out by the barn I never disassembled them I got out there the other day with a pry bar and tried to pry some of them boards off and they won't come off I built that fence out of ring shank nails it bust you know, the wood's kind of old and aged, and when you pry on it, it's cracked and splits. But I could still get some use out of some of that wood. I want to build a little well house around my wells out, not a well house. Um, surrounding, whatever you call it, that goes around the well out of wood. More like a decoration, really. I'll get around to it. But... <laughs> It's similar to people that pull pallets apart to reuse the wood. Well, there's a big to-do about prying and using special tools and ripping them apart, but people reuse the pallet wood. I don't know why I can't reuse some of that wood out there. Getting it apart is the problem. So today we're going to invent a hole saw small hole so it's the only thing I could find let's put it in here and I don't remember the width but I think those boards out there are probably three quarters I got an inch sticking up there my idea say if that spot right there is the nail head in the wood push that against the nail head and drill cutting around the nail all the way down to the inner board which would be three quarters of an inch deep you would be left with a hole in the wood well if you pull the nail out you're still left with a hole in the wood don't mean you can't reuse the wood it ain't like it has to be watertight a few holes here and there ain't gonna hurt did we the biggest thing is getting them apart this might not work at all, but I'm going to take this air grinder here. I don't have a vice out here, but on the moment you can do it right in there. See if we can sharpen some teeth on this booger enough to cut into some wood. I don't know the angle or nothing else. Let's try it. too deep. That ain't, that ain't gonna work. That looks like pure copper. I need a ferrous metal, not non-ferrous. Let's see, was I getting any sparks off of that? Ferrous metal spark. No sparks, that's a non-ferrous metal. That ain't gonna cut diddly in, the, in wood. We gotta come up with some other alternative. I thought about this booger bear here, but it only drill, it'll only go a half inch won't go three quarters. That was a failure. Let's see what we can drill in here.
looks like a sawtooth. That took too much of the tooth away. Looks like we got three saw teeth on there now. Go for four. Oh, that ain't gonna work. Ain't much chance that'll drill into the wood, but let's find out. That's actually working, but it ain't going to get three quarters of an inch deep. I need some kind of sleeve that'll go deeper. Oh, it's fitting. It is a ferrous metal and it, I got some teeth grinded in it. I drilled it into a piece of wood and it went into the piece of wood, but it got stuck. It was wedged in there, I split a piece of wood to get it out. So I grinded down the tapered edges. This was the part that slides up inside a hose. You'd put a hose clamp in there, but it was a fitting similar to one of these. I grinded off this raised area here so it would fit in my drill. And then I was left with a chunk of wood in the hole I had to clean out. But if I'm drilling around a nail head, say this is the nail head. I'm drilling around a nail head to get all the way through that bore block of wood, that piece of wood. When I raised up the piece of wood ought to stay in there. The nails just hold it in there. I should be left with a nail sticking up about that far with wood around it, providing this works. I don't know a better way to, do, to know if it works than to go out there and try it. So that's what we're going to do. I was going to go out to the barn, pick up one of them fence sections and put it on sawhorse, put it on sawhorses and try it. But I don't know why I can't figure it out if it works right here on this existing fence line. We're going to try it. I'm going to sink it into this wood around that nail. Would be nice if I had my saw, hole saw a little sharper. Oh, my goodness, that pulled out the nail. Yep, that's a ring shank nail. Right there, and I'll be all the way through the woods. Let's see how deep I am. It's pretty close to all the way through. Need a better hole saw, but I think I'm through. Yeah, that's loose. I didn't drill quite deep enough, but it yeah. the the uh, the idea works. That was pressure treated wood. It might be quite adequate enough for to get some decorative reuse out of this old wood. Let's try another one. 
I think I better have to go back and sharpen this thing a little better. Put a little oil on it maybe. Anyway, wobble it around a little bit. You can feel when it goes through. I felt when it came out the other side. It is clearly loose. I mean, if you want to use that wood, we can always put some, make up some wood putty to put in that hole. I think I can get some decorative use out of some of that wood. And the concept does work, leaving a hole like that. Problem is to have a hole saw that halfway works right. You couldn't buy some aged looking wood like that. My electric drill will do the trick until it quits. But I gotta have a better hole saw. Let's go look on Google for hole saws. Maybe somebody on Amazon's got one. You ever put a fence together and you think you might be going to take it apart sometime? Don't use ring shank nails. Well, we had fun tinkering with it anyway. Okay, I didn't invent anything that hadn't already been invented. The problem is, when I sharpen my little teeth on here, this is mild, very soft metal. It hasn't been heat treated or hardened or anything else. So after I drilled three or four holes, the teeth were wore down to a round nub. So my little homemade drill really ain't going to work without some kind of heat hardening treatment. I'm going to sharpen it one more time. Let's drill one hole, see how she do. stay sharp long. They make one, it's called a screw extractor. It costs about 15 bucks from Amazon plus four dollars shipping. Uh, there's bound to be something I can come up with to make my own. I need some harder steel. <laughs> 